Hello, I'm Michael Boyarchin, and uh, normally I just talk about my books, uh, but earlier today I got into some political stuff, and uh, I'm not so much going to do this one po about politics or my books, but uh, legal questions that are bothering me. Uh, I uh, was admitted to practice law since 1994 uh, in New York City, Brooklyn, and uh, Manhattan, Queens, Staten Island, and... Uh, uh, the Bronx is, you know, I practice in all the courts, uh, and, uh, state and federal law, uh, uh, courts, uh, was admitted to federal practice in 1995 and uh, in both the Eastern and Southern districts. And, uh, have to say that in all my years, I'm retired now from, uh, the legal practice and I'm also re retired as a state judge. And I served as a state judge under three governors, Republican Governor Pataki, who appointed me, and the first thing they said when they appointed me is, you're, you're a judge now, you're out of politics. Very ethical back then. Uh, and then I uh, carried through on the Governor Spitzer, who uh, I thought was a terrific guy, and uh, after him, uh, Governor Patterson. And anyhow, um, uh, what I'm getting at is, during my time in federal practice in both the Eastern and Southern District, uh, I wasn't constantly in federal court, but the times I were, um, they, they're no nonsense. Uh, if you um, do something stupid or wrong or play kind of, if you're up to some something fun, you know, monkey business or something, uh, they do not tolerate it and you're instantly vaporized. There's no delay. There's no, well, let me think about this. There's no handing off to the magistrate. Uh, it's instantaneously Boom. That's it. <clears throat> I'm not so much criticizing the uh, uh, federal judge in D.C., <clears throat> who I, I understand is very, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, well talk, spoken of. <clears throat> well, I do, well, I do question why it's taking a week to make this decision about putting a gag order on uh, the uh uh, defendant in that case, and I'm not going to mention his name. If you don't know who it is, then you don't belong in this country. But, um, and he, by the way, today they uh, started a seventh trial against him, uh, this time for video phones. Video phones, really? You, who buys video phones when you have all those apps that you can, you, you know, do? This is not 1969 with 2001 uh, Space Odyssey movie where that was the big deal. Oh, Phones would, you could see the person. Long ago, we got into that technology. But anyhow, uh, yeah, I don't know why it's taking that judge a week, but I'm not uh, criticizing, I don't want to go into that. I mean, uh, I'm more concerned about this Florida judge. And again, um, <clears throat> everybody was suspicious of her uh, prior uh, decisions uh, in the prior uh, matter uh, uh, involving the uh, current defendant. Uh, and then uh, uh, we pretty much, most of the attorneys said, well, maybe she's inexperienced. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, everyone said, okay, well, if she's inexperienced, then she deserves a shot at this current case. Uh, but um, it's apparent now that it's not inexperience. It's uh, something uh, malicious going on here. Uh, you know, making up this story that you can't have two grand juries. That is total nonsense. Never heard of such a thing. And again, um, th this raises eyebrows and enough's enough, really. Uh, this is a major case here. This involves the future of the country, the free world, and the whole world. Okay? And um, th th this, is, this is not normal federal judicial practice. Like I said, it's instant smackdown if you're goofing off or something or you're wrong about something or you're making something up. It's no joking. Uh, uh, and th there's, this is a lot of baloney going on. Delaying, delaying, delaying. And um, uh, I think it's time that we conduct a forensic audit of the background of this uh, judge down in Florida. Starting with her immigration papers uh, uh, that uh, were filed when she... Uh, became a citizen here, here <clears throat> on her arrival from Colombia. <clears throat> and uh, I'd like to know how a federal judge that quickly uh, becomes a federal judge upon immigrating from another country. But that's okay. That's nothing illegal about that. Uh, but uh, I'm a little suspicious of everything. And so a forensic order is in, in order here, starting with the immigration uh, 
papers that uh, were filed on her behalf and uh, going through all her financial backgrounds and those of her immediate family. And I bring in the immediate family because uh, the defendant in this case uh, likes to play games with, uh, you know, mm, pushing money around. Uh, it may not go directly to the person who he's throwing under the bus, but it may be like, hey, here's a college education for your grandchildren, you know. So I want, I would suggest, I don't want, I have no power to do that, but I suggest a forensic audit and not just the judge, uh, but those around her uh, in the family. Um, and uh, I think now rather than later, and I think it's time for that appellate court there, I think it's the 11th Circuit, it, to uh, pull her out and put one of the other uh, few judges that are in that uh, courthouse in. This is getting ridiculous, and uh, this is a very important case. Uh, we're not dealing with cartel cases like she might have been involved with down in Car Columbia, but, uh, and I'm not knocking Columbia. Um, it, uh, it, this is big time. This is big time. This is democracy versus authoritarianism, you know? And uh, uh, as Lyndon Johnson said, I'm not going to live under the light of a Soviet moon. And that's how I feel too. Bye.